Yeah, I mean, if celebrating is as much as bring it in, sh shake everyone's hand and say, you know, don't take it for granted, then yeah, we celebrated it. Uh, I think it's important to not take it for, for granted. I think it's important to have the gratitude for that. Uh, it's very hard to do. Um, you know, we may never be in this position again, so you don't want to take it for granted. So yeah, we definitely talked about it as a team. Talked about it before the game, uh, trying to treat this game as like the clincher so that to kind of put that on ourselves to be able to do that. I think it was important for us to simulate that. Um, and, you know, it's just a testament to the guys. And so we should enjoy it tonight. And we wake up tomorrow, you know, nobody cares. So just going to get back to work. Jalen's game tonight, a little bit of a slow start, picks it up late, you know, forces some turnovers. Uh, what do you make of his play tonight and overall his disruptiveness defensively this year? Do you think that's been more on him, or have you guys kind of put him in a different position to succeed on that end, the system you guys are playing, stuff like uh, that? I think it's both. I think uh, just growing in our system, growing uh, in our relationship is about how we could be uh, just better, all of us. And so he's taken it upon himself to uh, understand ways that he can impact the game other than scoring and really taking pride in being a two-way player, being a cerebral player, as well as his physical abilities. And so because of his work ethic and his mindset, he's able to do that. So in, in, in a game like tonight, like even if it's not going well, quote unquote, offensively, his ability to rebound, I thought the two plays he made in the first half where he tried to take the charge on Holmgren and then he got the block at the end of the quarter, which saved the, which saved the basket at the end of a quarter. So like when it might not be going as your expectations offensively, how can you impact the game? And he's taken pride in that. Joe, how would you describe Kristaps' uh, impact on this game tonight all around? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a credit to him because of his physicality and his dominance. Um, but it's also a major um, teaching point for our team because we had the discipline to attack the switch the proper way the entire game. And so if teams are going to switch us that way and we have a physical presence right there, like we didn't have any turnovers on post passes. We had very few turnovers in the paint if they collapsed. Our spacing was rather good if it was a post mismatch or if it was in the middle of the floor. And so they tested our discipline to attack the switch, you know, uh, with size and physicality. And uh, I thought our guys did a great job of trusting that, which allowed us to open up some other things throughout the game.